Hi and welcome to this first tutorial on how to use NVIDIA's Flex within the Unreal Engine 4. Today I'll show you how to convert uh, static meshes into three of the four object types that we can get generate with Flex. So we can, we can use Flex to create rigid bodies, cloth, soft bodies and then we can use particle systems to generate fluids. Uh, I'll go over the first three today. So first I'll be creating uh, the static meshes that we need to use in the engine. Um, I use Blender, you can use any tool you like. And I'll add a plane. And as you can see right now the plane has four vertices. Um, then it's not going to behave quite realistically because um, Flex will insert a particle at every uh, vertex, so we have to subdivide this uh, to get a more smooth surface or well, cloth. So I just subdivide this a couple of times. Um, you can of course subdivide as much as you like. Uh, the more particles in the scene, the slower uh, your game will be. So consider this when generating um, your uh, assets. So I think this will be fine and export it as an FBX and I have already set up uh, some settings so um, the scale should be one and there are a lot of tutorials on how to set up a blender so that you can export directly to uh, Unreal Engine but uh, the forward uh, vector has to be minus Y and the up vector has to be C up and that is basically it and let's export this as cloth and then um, create something that we can use for the soft body I'll have a cube and with, with the soft bodies um, you don't need to uh, think about vertices because um, Flex will try and fill the static mesh that you're using for soft body with as many particles as it possibly can, depending on the size of the particles, which you can control within the engine. So we'll just um, extrude this a bit and may try and make this behave like a soft body. Um, uh, export this as soft again using my preset then we'll import the two asset we just created the cloth and the soft um, you can check generate auto generate collision if you like but it's not um, really necessary for uh, for flex so I just leave it on uh, so I can use uh, the um, the assets for something later so we have a cube that I'll use for the rigid body we have a play a plane which I'll use for the cloth and we have um, also a box a little longer box that I will use for the soft body so what you do is you open your uh, assets in the asset uh, editor and then you go down here to flex and choose which asset you want and this is going to be a, a solid which is uh, the same as the rigid and then you have to choose a container so um, a container is uh, a set of properties that controls how the particles in the simulation behave. You can change a lot of settings uh, which I'll go over um, at a later time. The only thing you have to remember right now is that if you want your flex objects to collide with each other they have to have the same container template. So in order to have our three objects collide uh, I'm going to use um, the mix. Um, and how did I get this flex mix container? Well when you download and compile um, the engine as I mentioned in the introduction there's a, a example project um, where there are a lot of maps and pre-made assets that you can experiment with 
So I highly recommend that you open that project and work within because there will be so uh, a lot of assets you can uh, use to get started. Um, and now that I choose a, a container, you can see that it tries to fill the entire box uh, with particles. Um, and these particles will be glued together so they won't be moving uh, compared to each other. So that's why it's a rigid body. Um, I just might show that if you go out, if you have opened the project that came with the Flex engine uh, or the Unreal Engine with Flex, you download it and compile yourself. There's a test package um, with a folder named Flex, and there are a lot of assets here that you can start off of. There's a, a maps folder with a lot of um, example maps on how to um, use Flex or how you can reverse engineer uh, and, and study them yourself. So now that we have a cube, you can um, adjust uh, different things. Uh, the mass, if you want to be like a cube of iron or a cardboard box or whatever. Um, and attached to rigids means that if this starts, um, the, when you start the game, if it's overlapping another uh, static mesh that is not a flex, it will attach to that and stay attached to it. And there are different um, settings here as well. This is not a fluid, so we will not um, use fluids right now. Uh, stiffness, you can adjust the stiffness if you like and sampling distance so we can try and change the sampling distance it means that uh, the particles are going to try and be more close to each other but 10 is um, standard so we'll just use that it's fine save and let's um, test our flex cube And yeah, so you might say, well, this just this looks exactly like a a static mesh with physics applied, and you would be right, except that when we look at it, physics is grayed out, so you know it's a flex object. You cannot enable simulate physics. All right, for the cloth. Now we have this plane right here. Again, go down to Flex, choose Flex Cloth Asset. And here you get uh, a lot of different options other than more than there were on the um, rigid body. So you can stretch stiffness and bend stiffness and tether stiffness. Um, if you, you can even convert uh, a box, as we saw earlier, into cloth and uh, enable inflatable means that it tries to um, pump air into to the object as um, and then inflate it. I'll show you that in a moment. You can even have uh, tearing enabled so you can actually tear cloth into pieces. But since we want this cloth to be able to um, com um, co collide with our cloth uh, or our rigid body we will use the same as we used earlier. So the flex mixed container and suddenly we have, um, we can see the red balls or all the particles here. So it's still not a fluid, but uh, we want this cloth to attach to rigids. So we want to hang it like a curtain, so to speak. Save it. And um, I'll have a cube over here. Scale it, have the cloth, and now uh, I'm going to show you that. Um, so, this is a plane, which also means that I have not chosen a two sided material, which I should probably do. So, I'm going to go into flex and I'm going to use this one and let's find this pink material that's a good one I'll choose this 
and and we have applied the pink material which you can see is two-sided so let's test this out oh let's raise this a little so that we can actually get under and collide with them it and you see we have cloth and let's see if we can push this box into it yep all right and for the last one the soft body again we have um, a long box here you go down to flex and choose soft asset and here you have a lot of um, options as well particle spacing and you can play with these clusters links and link stiffness skinning all sorts of things um, we'll choose the mixed container and as you can see it tries to fill the entire box here with particles and these particles um, will behave and move um, according to how the other particles move or and how you s set things up here let's save it and let's put it in and let's do something like put it over here and see what happens all right and then let's uh, see what happens as you can see it's a bit bendy right now you can try and walk into it and it's uh, pretty soft and it will collide with um, the cloth and our rigid box here all right this is it for the tutorial this was a basic introduction on how to convert static meshes into rigid bodies into flex and into cloth